Hi, I'm Jeremy. I work with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. And today we're gonna to talk about best practices for sampling PFAS at a public water supply. For the purpose of compliance, these samples must be collected at the entry point to the distribution system. Sampling for PFAS is very important and it's critical that the sampling is done properly to ensure accurate results. In this video, we will give you everything you need to know to make sure that the sampling is done properly. Now, grab your kit and let's get started. Inside the kit, you'll find the PFAS request for water analysis form, sampling instructions, and a prepaid UPS return label, along with additional materials. Under the cooler lid, you will find a pair of gloves and five ice packs. You will also see five 250 milliliter bottles. Two of these bottles are labeled A and B. Set these bottles aside for now and grab those ice packs. Put your ice packs in the freezer. Once they're frozen for at least 24 hours, you can begin sampling. It's important to sample from the correct location. Unless told otherwise, the sampling location for compliance purposes is at the entry point to the distribution system. This is the same location a public water supply would take samples for routine metals, volatile, or synthetic organic compounds. Due to the nature of PFAS, there is a higher than usual potential for sample contamination. To minimize this potential, Careful preparation for the sampling event is strongly recommended. The clothing worn, personal care products used, and other items brought to the sampling site should be carefully considered. Further detail on that will be at the end of the video. When you're ready to start sampling, place your bottles and paperwork near the sampling site so they're easy to reach. Yep. Now run your sample tap for an extended period of time like you would for any other sample you collect at the entry point. During that time, go wash and dry your hands and put on your blue gloves. When ready, reduce the water stream to the thickness of a pencil to make sample collection easier. Grab one of your three unmarked preservative bottles. Be careful not to touch the inside of the cap or the bottle as that could contaminate your sample. Place the bottle under the stream of water and fill to the shoulder of the bottle. Do not let the water overflow the neck of the bottle because that will wash out the preservative inside. Once the first bottle is filled, screw the cap on tightly. Gently flip the bottle upside down a few times to mix in the preservative. Now that we've collected our sample, we can turn the water off and we'll turn our attention to bottles A and B. Carefully take off the cap for bottle A and for bottle B and carefully transfer the contents of bottle A into bottle B. This is called a control sample. And it's an important part of sampling because it lets the lab know if your sample may have been contaminated during the collection process. Recap bottle B tightly and place bottle A in the recycling. Almost done. It's time to prepare your kit to ship back to the lab. You can take your gloves off and we'll get ready to fill out the paperwork. When filling out your form, don't forget to include the date, time, your name, the address, the water supply serial number, site code, and all other pertinent information. Once your form is complete, pack up your filled bottles and frozen ice packs in the cooler like this. It's important to pack the cooler this way because your sample must be received by the lab at the right temperature or it can't be tested. Be sure to put the cooler lid on tightly and place the form and payment on the top of the cooler in the shipping box. Seal the shipping box and apply the prepaid UPS shipping label to the top. Send it to the lab right away. It needs to be received by the lab within 24 hours of sampling. To drop off your water samples in person, call the number listed on the screen. To learn more about the lab and water analysis, visit our website. Thanks for watching. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And happy sampling. <laughs>